Hello everyone, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. I am opening up a mystery ball for you guys today. This is going to be the Mini Brands Foodie Edition. It says Series 2. I'm trying to remember if the last one we opened was Series 1 or Series 2. I really don't remember. Anyway, I thought that I wanted to do this series um, called Miniature Mondays and open up something that was... Um, you know, like part of a miniature collection for you guys. And um, I thought that I'll start with this one because I know I've talked about it before, but mini food items are sort of one of my favorite things to open up. So anyway, let's get started um, and let's see what we get. So we have five bags to open up here and we also have the collector's guide. So I think we'll go ahead and open up all of them first and then I will show you guys um, what we have in here. Oh my goodness, we have a bowl of ramen. You guys, this is too adorable um what does it say kura k-u-r-a um is that a restaurant i'm not entirely sure um but we have an egg some green onions and some slices of meat and then the noodles and the broth um i absolutely love this we are off to a great start i actually had been craving ramen not too long ago, so I'm happy to get that. This kind of feels like a box. Let's see what it is. <gasps> These are miniature pancakes. Does it come out? Can I get this out? No, it's kind of glued down tight. So it's from Jack in the Box. I don't know if I've had the Jack in the Box pancakes before, have I? I haven't. I've only had, I think, like the hotcakes from McDonald's. Okay, I keep trying to get this out, but I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to force it, but uh, how adorable are these? I absolutely love them. I feel like I'm going to say that about all of them, but you guys, come on. How cute is this? All right, moving on. This feels a bit boxy too, so maybe it comes in a tray. Am I right? Yep, looks like a tray. Ooh, what do we have? We have a meal. So this looks like one of those to-go containers that you could pack your lunch in, and we have some rice and a mystery meat dish. Maybe like a bourbon chicken or, I don't know, Chinese food is what I'm, I'm thinking it is, um, but whatever it is, it looks delicious. Um, it comes with the plastic top to close it, and um, I am already loving Series 2. I mean, I, f I think maybe I only opened one ball of Series 1, and I think compared <laughs> to the two of them, this is by far more superior. All right. Oh my gosh, we only have two left, you guys. Uh, why is this so hard to open? Let's see, let's try some. Another box. We have Pizza Hut, The Edge. What is The Edge? Ooh, a pizza. But what does The Edge mean? Does that mean like it's crusty or something? What does it say? No one out pizzas the hut, is what it says there. And we have a miniature pizza. Kind of looks like a mm, Supreme, maybe? I don't know. All right, guys. And just like that, we are down to the last one. Okay, so this is definitely a drink. I can feel it in there. Let's see what drink we got. 
we have oh it's from kung fu tea this is like a boba tea thing um i actually don't think i've been to kung fu tea we do have kung fu tea here in houston but honestly every corner has I kid you not, a boba tea place. So we have so many here in Houston, and I honestly don't think I've been to Kung Fu Tea, only because there are so many others, but I heard good things about it. So um, this just looks like a milk tea is what I'm thinking. It doesn't have any of those like boba things on the bottom. So very neat. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the collector's guide next. Okay, here is the collector's guide. It opens up like a book. So I guess the ultra rare for the boba drink would be the one that says Kung Fu Milk Tea. I believe we got the Winter Melon Tea. Looks like is the one we got. And there's a good selection of uh, drinks here. We have some Subway stuff. We got some Subway stuff in the last ball too, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we have a couple of things here. We got the Kura Tonkatsu Ramen Noodles, which is this right here, 35. And we got the PF Chanks. Oh, that was Mongolian beef. Okay, so we have the PF Chanks. Mongolian beef right there, 29. And what's next? The pizza snacks. Okay, I think, oh, the edge. So that's what we got. Pizza Hut's the edge and it is number 40. I would love to get like a cheese pizza or a pepperoni pizza, that would be fun. Oh, and the ultra rare is actually a delivery bag. How awesome is that? Okay, and then, was that it? Oh no, we still have the pancakes. Um, where are these pancakes? Oh, so I've never actually unboxed one of these frozen moments ones before. I would love to, so it's actually, um, I mean, I guess <laughs> it's a frozen moment. It's a miniature that is, uh, looks like it's um, in movement. So that would be really nice to get, but I haven't unboxed one of those before. Okay, so where are these pancakes? Oh, here we go. Jack in the box mini pancakes is the last thing that we got. So I'm really happy with all of those miniatures that I got, and I can't wait to open up the next one for you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about um, the series that I am starting. Um, I feel like I always wanna open up miniatures, and so I thought, why not just film it and show you guys? So um, that's what I plan to do. And I hope you guys are having a good week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.